Hey everyone, Jacity Smith here. Um, I'm so excited that we get to do these videos um, for the forums because I feel like it's more personable. So I'm really grateful for that. I'm excited to share my personal testimony video. So um, in 2019, I was given the opportunity to travel to Brazil for a mission trip. Um, it was myself and about 15 others. Um, we were given the opportunity to uh, minister at a woman's prison. And a couple minutes before um, the leader um, actually reached out to me and said, Jacity, the Lord put it on my heart um, to tell you that you will be um, giving the word in the prison today. And I was in shock and I was nervous. And I was like, Lord, I need you to, to move, but I know you wouldn't ask me to do this unless you equipped me to do it. And we went into this prison, and I don't know if anybody's ever been to Brazil and seen a prison, a woman's prison in Brazil, but it's a box and um, with an open roof, and we were placed literally in the middle of the box, given about maybe a foot of space uh, between us and the inmates. I mean, well, it was a foot and then a, a large amount of space and then the inmates. Um, so there was about 25 women inside the box with us and then all of the others that were surrounding us in that square um, that were imprisoned. So at that time, I actually um, gave my own personal testimony um, about being arrested unlawfully and, and things like that um, and shared it with them. And there was a lot of women that were... Um, able to um, relate to my own personal story um, just for the sake of time I'll keep it short um, but during that time the Lord had asked me to pray for the women those that wanted to give their life to God and in the midst of it I was in total shock that the entire woman's unit gave their life to God and there was 153 women that gave their life to God that day. And um, the officer came to me and said, you can walk in anywhere that you would like to walk in in the prison. And I was kind of nervous at like the way he said it to me. But my spirit was very calm because I know that the Lord was opening up those doors for a reason. And I got to hug and pray for these women that weren't even supposed to come out of their cells and um, these women were crying out for help and calling my name and just please touch me and please pray for me and things like that and I came across a couple women that um, most of these women that were in there were facing life sentences and um, there was a couple women that were asking me please just pray for me because I know if you pray for me um, the Lord is going to release me from prison. And I was totally on board for that. I prayed for them um, and I gave them my name. They asked me for my Instagram and they wrote it down and they told me, when I get out of here, I'm going to reach out to you. And it was two women. And so aside from 153 women giving their life to Christ, these two women at different times, one reached out to me on Instagram and gave me a full testimony that her charges were dropped as if it didn't even happen as, as her um, charges didn't even happen and she was able to get out of prison and no longer had to face a life sentence so praise the lord isn't that a testimony in itself and then the other one um was a daughter to one of the women that i prayed for in um the church there in brazil um, the mom was actually praying that her daughter got out and the daughter was praying that um, the Lord took care of her mother while she was in prison. And they were both praying that she would get out of prison. So I got to be a part of that. And she also reached out to me with a wonderful testimony saying that she was released from prison, that the charges were dropped and um, that she's also been going to Bible study and consistently going to um the church and, and things like that. And it was just amazing just to have such a testimony from them and not even in our own country, like in a whole other place in Brazil. So I was really excited and I hope that it ministers to you, um, especially in things that God's calling you to do. So praise the Lord and thank you for listening.